All right. We are reading a beautiful story called The Perfect Color. This is a nonfiction story, and the question that we're going to be keeping in mind is what can happen when artists think about things in a new way? Close your eyes and imagine the sunset. What colors do you see? You might see orange, yellow, and pink. You might also see a color that is hard to name. Is it purple? Is it blue? Or is it somewhere in between? This purplish, bluish color is brand new. You have invented and if you wanted to see the sunset that you imagined, you need to make this the perfect color. Artists are creative people. They like to imagine common things in new ways. Painters make brand new colors that match a sunset, a leaf, and a lion's eye. Someday, you may see a painting of a pink elephant instead of a gray one. This painter was having fun with color. The word perfect. When something is perfect, it is as good as it can possibly be. And there is nothing wrong with it. A, a box of pencils is a perfect gift for someone who loves to draw. How many colors are in the world? 20, 400. Actually, the number of colors is endless. This is why anyone can invent a new color. To learn about how colors, how to make colors, let's talk about something called the color wheel. A color wheel is a circle filled with shades of color. The most the most important colors are called the primary colors, labeled P on the color wheel. The three primary colors are yellow, blue, and red. You can make any color in the world by mixing the three primary colors, plus black and white. For example, if you mix yellow, and a blue, you make green. If you mix yellow and red, you make orange. And purple are secondary colors. So green, orange, and purple are secondary colors. Labeled S on the color wheel. When you mix a primary color with a secondary color, you get a tertiary color, labeled T on the color wheel. Now, what if you have, if you want to make a color like red, but a bit lighter, you would mix in some white. And what if you wanted to create a dark blue? You guessed it, you would mix in some black. Now, what if you wanted to make color like, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Art stores sell thousands of colors of paint. Some of these colors look so similar that it's kind of hard to tell apart. Many artists like to mix their own paints. They want to use colors that they see in their minds and not in the store. So I have two vocabulary words that we're reading here. Endless. If something is endless, it has no end. We saw endless miles of the desert on our trip out west. And the word similar, when things are similar, they are alike. My brother and I look so similar that we can be twins. Before artists began to paint, Many of them sort their colors. This helps them get organized so they can find colors easily. 
there are many different ways to sort colors. For example, all the shades of color of the color red might go in one cup, such as red, orange red, brick red, cherry red, sunset red. Another group may include all of the colors of blue, like midnight blue, sky blue, ocean blue. Artists use lots of different tools to mix new colors, then paint with them. Something called a palette is a flat surface that holds blobs of paint. An easel holds a piece of paper or canvas that the painting goes on. A paint knife is a plastic metal without a sharp blade. Artists can use a paint knife for mixing and painting. Artists paint with brushes of many shapes and sizes. Sponges are great for blending paints. Painters like to get creative with their tools too. The word that they're talking about here is sort. To sort things, it means to put them into different groups. I like to sort my books by the topics. Now it's your turn. Do you remember the perfect sunset color that your imagination showed you? It's time to share your color with the world. The best way to make the perfect color is to experiment. Get your colors and tools, sort them and play. Painting is fun. First try to put amounts of color together. You might want to use more blue less red, just a little bit of white or black. Here's a new question. How mixed up do you want the colors to be? If you stir them a lot, you will get a solid color. If you mix them a little, you will see swirling lines in the color. When is, the when is it time to do painting? Play with your tools. Try using different sizes and shapes of brushes. If you have finger paints, smear the paints with your fingers and hands. You can even try scraping away the paint after it's on the paper. At the end, you will get something that is one of a kind, a perfect color, a creative work of art. The word experiment. To experiment, it means to try out something to see how it works. We did an experiment in class to find out how long do, does it take for water to freeze. Okay, so as you can tell in each parts of this story, they used a lot of organizing, whether it was the colors, the brushes, and all that stuff. So when we read the other story that we've already read before, you can be able to see that. So give me one second here. Now I'm going to open up the book that we've been reading. We're going to do a reread because good readers read a story many times. Just give me a minute. It's not the computer's thinking. I wonder if I think it's working. Just give me a minute. <clears throat> okay, we're reading our, the story again, All Kinds of Families. All Kinds of Families by Mary Hollerman and Mark Burchard. Families, families, and all kinds of families. Families are people and animals too, but all sorts of things fit into families. Look all around 
and you will see that they do. So as you can tell, the story of families, it's fictional because it puts um, different things, you know, like spoons and different things like that in a group, right? When the other story was talking about in a family and when the other story was talking about sorting things that are not people. So you, we will talk about those differences when we write down the assignment. A knife and a fork and a spoon are a family. The stars, the sun, and the moon are a family. The socks in a drawer and the rocks on the shore and the blocks on the floor. They can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. As soon as you're born, you're part of a family. As soon as you're born, you're a daughter or son. As soon as you're born, your family gets bigger. As soon as you're born, it is bigger by one. Eggs in a carton can seem like a family. So can a loaf with its slices of breath, bread. Celery stalks or a big bunch of carrots. They sleep in the fridge with a drawer for a bed. What other things can you make to families? Pennies on a card, pennies and card decks and marbles and jacks, ribbons and bobby pins, hair clips and thimbles, pencils and rulers and crayons and tacks. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings. You can make families of, from all sorts of things. Clams. In the sea can make a clamily family, lambs in the field can make a lamily family, jams in the jar can make a jamily family, and yams in the cupboard can make a yamily family. Out in the yard you will find dry twigs and branches, horse chestnuts, barberries, acorns, and, and cones. Down at the beach, you will find pebbles and seashells, soft colored beach glass, and ocean, and ocean smooth stones. A saucer and a cup can be brother and sister. A comb and a blush and brush can be husband and wife. A plate and a bowl can be Mrs. and Mr. And so can the spoon or fork or knife. Your hand is a family, a family of fingers. Your foot is a family, a family of toes. And as you get older, each family gets older. And as you keep growing, each family grows. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, your rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. If you're a baby uh, born to your mother, you're your mother, your mother's a mother because you're here. If you are the first baby born to your father, your father's a father because you appear. If you are the second one born in your family, someone's a brother because you arrive, or someone's a sister, and you're a sister or brother the moment that you're alive. You can make families from clay and from Play-Doh. You can make families from mud or from snow. You can make families from paper or cardboard. You can make them from sticks and bal or balloons that you blow. Spools are a family and tools are a family and chalk for the blackboard at school are a family. Six slices of cheese or a pod full of peas or a key ring with keys, they become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. You might say that the number belong in a family or alphabet letters or notes in a scale, the colors in rainbows, the words in a language, the keys on a piano or stamps for the mail.
Inside or outside in the summer or winter, you can find families from so many games, families to play with and spend most of the day with, telling them stories and giving them names. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. Make believe families and families of people, families of people from long ago, families like stepping stones crossing the water, leading them to now, and families you know. Everyone comes from a number of families. When you look backward, it looks like a tree. People from families and make other new families. The more you go back, the more people you see. Play families, real families, all kinds of families. Think of the families, the ones that you're from. Someday you'll grow up and you will have a new family. And you'll be the family of families to come. Okay? So that was the story about the families. And now we're going to start um, writing in our sheet of paper to compare both stories. All right, so as you can tell, um, today is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. We are going to compare both stories, and we're going to write a few sentences that will help us compare both stories. So we can say that. Uh, the name of the art story is called, let me give you the name so we can use the name of it. The Perfect Color. The Perfect Color. And All kinds of families. All kinds of families show how things Be sorted, which is organized, sorted in two groups. So in the next sentence, we're going to write each. I know my computer is taking some time to show me what we're writing. So don't worry, it's going to eventually show it. Just it takes some time. Each group. Has unique characteristics things in each group. are all the same, the same, or have things, or we can stand instead of writing things, have, have um, 
Instead of characteristics, we can use the word traits. Traits that are alike. Just give me a second so my computer is thinking and is taking some time to think. <clears throat> so while we wait for my computer to think there, we're gonna give it a second. We're waiting for my computer. In the meantime, we can definitely say that these stories are alike in the way that we see how they organize things. The family story had a lot of things that, you know, weren't living things like plates, cups, and they would use a lot of their similarities to put them into groups. Just like the sentences I wrote, I understand it's not showing. Okay, now it's starting to show, so I'm gonna Try to scroll up so you can see all of it, but we have to wait until it lets me. Gotta be patient, you know. Okay, so we're comparing stories. The perfect color, which is the one we read about the colors and painting and all that stuff, and all kinds of families show how things can be sorted into groups. Each group has unique characteristics. Things in each group are all the same and have, or sorry, or have traits that are alike.